Hello, in today's video we will talk very briefly about how to handle exceptions in C-sharp. Going back to our sample application, uh, we have been entering the quantity of the item to be purchased, and then we display the price and the I along with the item, uh, with the quantity of the item. Now, if we do enter a number or um, a string in a format that is not is expected by the application, um, the application will crash. So let's get an example. So let's say we enter a double value into an integer. We'll see here that our entire application crashes. And if we go back to the code, let's see what, what, what happened. Here we entered a 2.5 into our quantity text box text and uh, we're trying to parse that as an integer, whereas um, that is not an integer value, so um, the code does not recognize uh, or does not understand what we're trying to do, so it completely crashes. And to avoid uh, that from happening, what we can do is um, to include a try-catch method or um, statements. So this is how we can do it. We use the try keyword followed by squirrely brackets. And what, would that, uh, what that would do is create a block for us to insert our code. So we're going to take our code that was previ previously used, and we're going to insert it within the try block. Then we're going to add in a catch statement. So this is what the code is trying to do. Um, we are inserting our code or our statements within the try, so the application will try to execute our statements, and then if that completes successfully, then fine, it just goes ahead and completes or executes the next statements that it needs to execute. Now, if it cannot do that, uh, if there has been an error, then it will go to the catch statements. It will execute the code that we're going to insert in here. And what usually um, ends up in our catch block uh, statements is a, a message box. So that is a, um, a message box that would show the user the error that has occurred. So um, it is very good practice to include an error that describes as much as possible the error that has been, uh, that might have happened. And in our case, um, we're only trying to parse the value that has been entered by the user into an integer value. So we could have um, a message that looks like so. There has been an error parsing the string entered. So what that would do, it would one, prevent the application from crashing, and two, it would kind of give uh, the user an idea about um, the error that happened or the error that occurred. So let's try that and see. So first we're going to include a correct value. Uh, so and try that, and we get the display of our uh, quantity, which was fine. Now, let's enter a wrong value, so or a value that would have caused the application to crash initially. So let's try that. So now, instead of the application crashing, one, the application didn't crash, and two, we get an error message that's, that's being displayed that explains what happened. All right, so that is exception handling in C Sharp, and it is very commonly used in all programming languages. Okay, and that's the end of our video. See you next time.